Our story starts when my boy Adam told me Jordan Peterson was coming to Edmonton to do a lecture. We instantly jumped online only to find out that they had already been completely sold out of tickets. Thankfully, however, we saw that he was doing a show the day prior in Grand Prairie. So we hopped on the opportunity to buy some tickets and started planning a road trip up to Grand Prairie. You like, know what's strange? On, on the internet, I found this phenomenon to be true across the board. Anytime a creator attempts to make money, it's somehow frowned upon or innately a bad thing. Yep. I don't understand that quite. The sellout. Oh, it's, people it's, expect artists and creative people to just be poor or, or, or not to make well, money or not to care about money. Say. It's like you it's sold out. Like, like, it is the romance. I didn't sell out. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the thing that you hear all the time. Oh, yeah. Sell you, out. You, you, yeah, you sold out. It's like, so what you're saying is that if you had the opportunity to sell out, which you don't, by the way, <laughs> you would if you had the opportunity. It's like you, you expect me to believe that. Sure. It's like the reason you're not selling out it's, is because no one is buying. Well, in, in the we arrived in Grand Prairie just minutes before the show, only to find out that the Crystal Center was actually only selling the tickets and not actually hosting the event. We scrambled to find out that the event was actually at the GPRC all the way across town. After getting there and asking about a hundred dumbass people where the fuck the actual theater was, we ended up finding it all on our own and just making it barely in time for the show. Um, one of the things that was shocking to me in some sense was how... There is an isomorphism, a similarity between certain elements of the way lobsters interact with the world and ways that people do. And it, the, the, the similarities were both shocking and comical, and so that's partly what produced the impetus for, for chapter one. So it turns out that, that lobsters, like most animals, organize themselves into hierarchies. And they're usually referred to by ethologists, who are people who study the behavior of animals in if one lobster encounters another and they don't know each other, then the first thing they do is wave their big claw in the air. You know how lobsters have one small claw and one big claw? And that's sort of, that's an evolutionary, what, it's an evolutionary comedy in some sense because the reason they have one large claw is so that they look much larger than they are when they wave their claws at an opponent. And so the lobster visual system isn't as acute as ours, but it's certainly capable of calculating how big a claw is by the sh shadow that it casts across the visual field. And so the basic idea for a lobster is that if the other lobster is 10% heavier than you, something like that, he could probably carry... Well, thank you. Do you think you can get a picture with us? Actually, my friend. Okay. You, want me to, you want me to take a picture? Oh, yeah. Please. Good to meet you. It's worth it. Their fantasy, they're better than you. Right, right. Well, and that's, yeah. that, that, that helps solve the wounds, two sorts of wounds, is the creativity isn't working and neither, neither is the money making. Mm -hmm. so it's, well, like... I wouldn't sell out. It's like, yeah, you wouldn't have the opportunity. Also, what does that so, even mean? What is a sellout? Well, technically, someone who's selling out would be someone who is subordinating their art to propaganda or advertising. You know, like, something you don't. They're using it in an expedient manner. You're you're going against what you know to be right. Yes, in exactly. A way. Or to, you're 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 abusing your art. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're subordinating your art to a secondary purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's part of this sort of glamorous anti-capitalist idiocy that possesses often possesses people who are romantically creative it's like jesus you better figure out how to live because you're not going to be making a lot of paintings unless you solve that right. problem